Sapio is existing in a very bizarre space of programming languages. Uh, it's really not like anything that most people have ever used before, unless you're maybe a programming language theorist uh, or a um, electrical engineer. And there aren't that many of either of that group involved in like Bitcoin development. Uh, essentially for Sapio, what you are designing is not a program, but a circuit. And there's a little bit of a distinction between a program and a circuit. A program is, you know, it could be many different things, but a program generally is something that is running in some environment. And it is, let's say it's an interpreted program. There's some code that's running real time with whatever information is coming into that program, whatever input is. And a circuit is, it's definitely a subset of a program, but a circuit is really like hardware. It's like we've put together these pipes and uh, valves and it's sort of fixed and defined ahead of time. Um, and there's not, uh, it, it's sort of bounded. It's fundamentally bounded. It has to fit within a certain area. And CPO produces circuits. Pro programs, you know, you can have memory, you can dynamically grow that memory and you can have uh, a program that that does very different things depending on what the input is. But in uh, in plumbing, uh, in a circuit design, the set of outcomes is fundamentally very fixed. And Sapio targets a very fixed type of program. Um, and, and that is not what Ethereum tries to do. Ethereum with Solidity, it's very uh, loose. You know, There's lots of different things that can happen as long as you're paying fees for the storage you take up looks good. It can respond uh, dynamically to new events that were not foreseen at the time that the programmer made it. It reacts to new contracts that exist. And you have to make sure that your assumptions in your contract are valid against all new contracts that could exist on the network. An example of this where, where that wasn't true is like flash loans. Like there were liquidity assumptions for a lot of DeFi protocols that nobody would be able to, for example, get infinite amounts of a token. But then there were tokens that said, well, actually, we allow people to flash loan as much of this token as we want, or there are protocols that said you can borrow as much of our available liquidity as we have if you return it by the end of the transaction with a small interest rate. And that broke a lot of the assumptions that people made in that ecosystem. In the Sapio world, things are kind of fixed, um, and you don't have this sideways composability type of issue.